Hello everyone, welcome to day one of stretching for climbers. Let's get started. We're gonna hold each stretch for one minute. The first one is a wide-legged forward fold. Reach over and try and keep your legs straight and fold over. It's okay if your hands don't touch the ground. Just bring your hands onto anywhere that you can reach on your legs. <sighs> Slowly you can start reaching your hands further and further down. Maybe you can touch both your feet. Maybe you can grab your big toes. Just relax here. Taking some deep breaths. The next exercise, we're gonna go into a horse stance. And from here, create 90 degrees with your elbows and twist one shoulder down. You can look up to the sky. Should really open up your shoulder muscles here. Switch sides. Oh. This is really good for after climbing exercise. Open up those tight muscles. This next exercise is also a wide-legged forward fold and you're going to twist, you're going to use your left hand to grab your right leg and you use your right hand to grab your left leg and try and put your torso in between your legs. This is a deep side body stretch. If you can't quite reach your legs, then just move them higher up. Nice, I'm gonna switch sides. Grab the other leg and try and twist through. You can use your arms as leverage to try and uh, twist deeper. Next one is going to be a low lunge. Uh, I like to keep my knee up. It really opens up the hips a lot more. This is great for those high steps or those heel hooks. Opening up the legs. Switch sides, bring that left leg up. <clears throat> nice. Really great hip opening stretch. Next one is going to be a twist. So in the same position, I'm gonna twist that shoulder up. The goal here is to create a straight line from the top of your hands to the bottom of your hands. Really wanna pull that left shoulder blade back. If this feels too easy for you, then you can try and grab 
your right hip with your left hand and really open up your shoulders even more. Nice. And we're going to rotate to the other side. <clears throat> open up. Creating that straight line. Same thing here. You can reach back for your left hip. Nice. Next one here, we're going to do a split leg forward fold. The goal here is to try and keep your hips square. So they're both pointing forward and then fold over and imagine touching your chin to your knee. Try not to completely lock out your right leg. Let it stay engaged slightly. You can bring your hands behind your back, or you can touch the ground, or you can use your hands to assist you and bring your body closer. And switch sides. Folding forward. Oh, one side's always going to feel more flexible than the other side. Mm. Don't forget to continue to take deep breaths. Nice. This next one is going to open your hips again. You're going to take your right foot, balance it on top of your left knee, and sink down, making sure you have 90 degree angle in your legs, and just try and sit your butt low. You can use your hands for balance. This is already a huge hip opening stretch, but if you want more, then lean your head forward. Just sink it down into that right hip. It should feel really deep. Switch sides, same thing, left foot over that right, and sinking down. Hmm. Nice. This really opens up the hips, which can get really tight if you're doing a lot of heel hooks and using your legs a lot in climbing. Hmm. Next one is a simple but essential downward dog. This is great for opening up those legs. Point is to put your weight into your palms and your fingers instead of your wrists and kind of create that triangle with your body. One good way to keep the form in mind is to lift up through your toes and then push your torso back in line with your arms and then bring your heels down towards the earth. This is an active flexibility exercise. Okay, perfect. And the next one will be a simple threading the needle exercise. So you just grab your right arm, pull it through and try and elongate it. One thing to keep in mind here is to try and keep your torso straight forward. It's really simple but effective exercise for stretching out your shoulder muscle, especially since we climb so much. <sighs> Maybe taking in the beautiful scenery around us. Switching sides, same thing. Keep that torso square to your arm. A 
love these canyons in Red Rock. Nice. The final exercise is also a shoulder opener. Just grab your hands behind your back and lift up your arms. Open them up. Puff your chest out. And if you want to add more to this, you can do a forward fold. Try and maintain that puffed out chest and Try and bring your hands straight up over your body. You can really do focus on two exercises, two stretches at once. Hmm. You can see the mountains under there. Oh, feels good. Perfect. Thanks for watching. That is a quick 10 minute stretch flow for your full body, which I really like to do after a climbing day. Thanks for watching.